Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you what you can do with a Google Classroom at the end of the year or end of the semester. So let's go in here and let's say we want to take a look at this class from July 2017 that I'm obviously not using anymore. Well, I'll go in here and I'm going to archive that class. And when I archive the class, the students won't be able to make any changes. Obviously, I won't either, and it will show up in my archived classrooms in Google Classroom. But you'll see that it says all classroom files will still remain in Google Drive. So let's archive it. And now in my Google Drive, if I truly wanted to get rid of the material that's in there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my Google Drive going to go into my classroom folder so and go down and find my Google classroom folder for that course and let me find that one all right so I've found the folder in my classroom folder for the course that we just archived and now let's right click on it And with this, we can download the, all the material that's in there. And you might want to download it before you delete it. You can also go in here. Maybe you want to only delete some of it. Okay. You can say, just go in and remove assignment number one. Or I can go back here, look at the whole class. We'll go back down to that classroom folder. And again, that's the one that I just archived. And we can remove that entire one. Now, it's important to note that we still need to empty the trash. And we have a whole bunch of stuff in the trash here, including that folder that we just moved into the trash. So let's go in there and make sure we empty the trash if we truly want to get rid of all the information that was in that folder. And you may have noticed there that that particular classroom, I had had a collaborator on it. My collaborator will still have access to it if he or she has made copies of it um, or has it stored in their Google Drive as well. So always for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.